Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here. We're here at uh, Razor's uh, booth at CES 2013. I'm here with, is it uh, Cliff? Uh, Heathcliff. Heathcliff, Master. sorry. Oh, no problem. All right, sorry. Totally messed that up. But anyways, Heathcliff, what are we taking a look at here today? Uh, today we're looking at the Razer Edge gaming tablet. Um, this is the world's most powerful gaming tablet. And in the form factor you're looking at here is in tablet mode. As you can see, it's a full-functioning Windows 8 tablet. Right now, we've launched it into Civilization 5, so you can experience a AAA a touch-enabled title. But being a full Windows tablet, you can use it for, you know, you can use it to play Civilization, like send some people over here, or you can use it for Netflix, you know, um, through the Windows UI. It pretty much the choices are up to you. It's the same weight as a uh, Surface Pro, so it's about uh, two pounds. Um, and the other form factors we're showing, we're showing it's a PC, it's a tablet, it's a console. I mean, it's sorry, it's a tablet, it's a PC, and it's a console. And the PC form factor we have here, um, we've got Dishonored. So you can see in the keyboard dock, mm -hmm. we've got Dishonored set up on. Corvo cell key is needed, so let me go look around for the key. Now, d does this also work as a cover as well, or is it just the Sure. Dock? You can actually fold it down and take it on the go. And it also has a USB port on the side. Uh, additional USB port on the side, uh, power connector there. And you also have the uh, extended battery on the bottom of the uh, the, the uh, keyboard dock. Okay. Do you know how much it weighs with the dock? Um, with the keyboard dock is uh, scheduled to come out in Q3. The tablet itself is around uh, uh, two pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the last mode, the console mode, we have uh, with the gamepad controllers, or one of the last ones, we have actually have the television mode as well. You have a dirt showdown here. Okay, and uh, you said it's the most powerful tablet in the world. Can you uh, walk us through the specs? Sure. <coughs> um, we have the Edge and the Edge Pro. The Edge is a Core i5. Um, it comes in uh, 64 gigabytes, 128, 256 form factors. Um, you also can choose, or the Edge Pro, which is the i Core i7. That's an NVIDIA, a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card. This is a 640M LE. Okay, cool. And uh, when does uh, this peripheral come out? It here? comes with a uh, four gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, it launches Q1 or the first quarter here, so pretty shortly. Okay, cool. And you said it also uh, works as a console, like for yeah. A TV as as you well? can see, with uh, right here, we're you know showing some titles through Steam and Big Picture. Mm -hmm. I can take it out of the console dock here, okay. and we'll take it over to the TV. Here we have the Edge docking station. As you can see, we brought it over to our living room here. We've got it hooked up to our television set. We've got it in the dock. Um, we've got two of our Razer Sabertooth uh, Xbox uh, gaming controllers plugged in, and we're in Steam Big Picture here. So, you know, you go through uh, your titles, you can select. It's going to launch Dirt Showdown again. Um, I like Dirt for this particular uh, uh, experience because you can do two controllers, we can do split screen, we can. Uh, um, How many USB ports does it uh, support? There's three on the back of the unit, as well as a headphone jack and a microphone jack. So headphone out, microphone in. And there's an additional unit on the top. So let's say you wanted to play a sports title. You can have up to four controllers plugged in at one time. I see. Um, um, the docking station also features little uh, uh, gecko feet. So it's you can see it's pretty securely stuck to the counter there. So it doesn't slide all around. makes it really easy for you to dock the uh, product in and out of the cradle. And... Uh, is that also a charging station as well? Yes. Well, right now it's plugged into it's charging right up. But yes, okay. it has a AC adapter port, so you can use your power cord to charge it up while it's sitting there. Otherwise, what is the the battery life on it? If you're you know. for battery life in the tablet mode, if you're using like you know Internet Explorer, doing a little Netflix, surfing around the web, you're looking at about anywhere six to eight hours, depending on what you're doing. Um, hardcore gaming, it depends on the title, but anywhere between two to four. Like if you're playing Civilization, it's a little bit longer. But if you're playing like a first person shooter or whatever you're going to get um, a little bit less battery life. In addition to that, we offer an extended life battery in the um, gamepad controller as well as in the keyboard dock. So those are both 40 watt. Uh, I don't want to sign in to raise that. I just want to... <laughs> and I assume uh, those are all sold separately? Or do they come no, in the packages? The accessories are sold separately. We do have some bundles. Um, we're doing an X Pro bundle with the gamepad controller for $14.99. Okay. Uh, can you actually talk about the individual pricing and all that? The, uh... Uh, sure. Let me just get this started. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, individually, uh, you have a, um, 
a keyboard dock that we haven't announced the price on. It's actually coming in Q3. We're looking at about two forty nine dollars um, for the uh, uh, individual gamepad controller. Start this up and get some game on. Okay. So with the i5 uh, version, you can get, uh, start with the Edge at around uh, $9.99. Okay. And how much is the, the Pro version? Uh, the Pro version is uh, 12 dollars off the top of my head. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> the difference is the, the RAM count. You said the 8 gigs versus 4, and then the um, Intel. I, Core i7, Core i5. Core i7, Core i5. Um, cool. You also have different sizes in the uh, <coughs> uh, versus the 128. Ooh, wow, that's pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> I didn't get the logo though. Um, you also have different sizes in the uh, SSD. So it comes in 64 gigabyte, 128, and 256. Okay. And I have to ask, uh, what do you think about uh, the other uh, competitive solutions out there? You know, Nvidia obviously announced, uh, you know, their Shield recently. And uh, I think it's really cool, actually. You know, personally, <coughs> um, uh, I think the Nvidia Shield—they're great partners. Uh, you know, they're making an amazing graphics card uh, for the Razer Edge, mm -hmm. and we think it's a pretty cool experience. You know, you can use the Edge to stream to your Shield if you want to. Oh, really? Because yeah, it's an Nvidia graphics card. Oh right, that's true. Right, yeah. But I think for us, like this particular experience, you know, everything here is ready to go. You have an experience right now. It's a Windows PC. It's full functioning. You can play anything that works on a PC will work, uh, except for my driving. Anything will work on a, on a PC will work on the Edge. So that's you know Netflix to Office to Dirt Showdown with my very dented car. Cool. Well, it, uh, it certainly looks awesome. There you have it. It's a PC, a tablet, and a console, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you, Heathcliff.